everybody. Um, today I'm going to do a Bible reading, and I've done one of these before. It was about not worrying, and um, I try to read the Bible daily, but um, every time I read the Bible, I pick out verses or just things in the Bible that kind of you know speak to me and everything, and um, I just like to share it because. Um, God's Word really um, inspires me to get through the day when I'm struggling with eating disorder thoughts, and it's just my hope um, for everything. And I just wanted to read this this verse in John chapter 15, 18 through 27, and this is about how if you follow Christ. The world will hate you, and it's not really, you know, related to eating disorders or anything like that, but um, it's something that I go through on a daily basis. Through a lot of hate from people, um, and a lot of, like, laughs from people that I am a Christian, and that, you know, I don't have any problem talking about God, and I'm not going to quit talking about God, even if somebody threatens to kill me, and, um point a gun at me and ask me if I believe in God, I would willingly sacrifice my life for that because this is something that I strongly believe in and I know there is a God. How can there not be a God, you know? And it's just like when I think upon there being a God, my worries and everything else just flutter away because nothing else matters, you know? Um, being sin and, and all my emotional and stressful past, and I can just put it behind me and start over. It's, it's just... It's amazing. So, I want to read this because if you're a Christian, you're going to be hated. But I just want you to know that to be courageous and stand up for your faith and you will be hated, you know, pretty much no matter what. Everybody's going to always talk about you. And I just want everybody to stay strong and not fall away because this is the most important thing in life. So, John chapter 15, 18 through 27. And here it is. If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If you belonged to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Remember the words I spoke to you. No servant is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute, persecute you also. If they obey my teaching, they will obey yours also. They will treat you this way because of my name, for they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not be guilty of sin. Now, however, they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father as well. If I had not done among them what no else did, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have seen these miracles, and yet they have hated both <clears throat> me and my father. But this is to fulfill what is written in their law. They hated me without reason. When the counselor comes, whom I will send to you from the father, the spirit of truth who goes out from the father, he will testify about me. And you must also testify, for you have been with me from the beginning. So, you know, as I said before reading that, that just speaks to me and it's just like, you know, just, just keep strong. Um, in the faith, because Jesus even said, you know, everybody, people hated Jesus. They crucified Jesus, the Son of God. God, they crucified Him. If they crucify Him, who knows what they're going to do to you? You know, we're just mere humans. And they crucified God. And they hated God. And they spit on God and, and laughed at God because of the words that he spoke. Nobody could believe because their hearts were so hard. People just don't want to believe in God because their hearts are just hard and tarnished by the world and they don't want to give up their worldly desires. If we just give up our worldly desires and give in to the desires that God wants us to have, our lives would be so full of happiness and joy and we can overcome things through Him and only through Him. And, you know, if you're not a believer, you can't experience this fullness until you seek Christ and Christ and God, He promises that if you seek Him with an open heart and an open mind, you will find Him a promise. 
you will because that that's how it was for me you know I never I never cared about God and I even doubted that there was a God and I kind of lived my own life and you know where that got me and just seeking him and starting to know about him learn about him in a relationship I just it just opened my eyes and little things don't don't bother me anymore you know they might stress me out for a couple of seconds, but then I can just redirect my attention to something much greater. But I hope that you got something out of that. And I'm going to be doing these Bible readings, you know, more and more. Um, but I just like to share that kind of stuff. And yes, I like to make videos because I just made three yesterday. But um, I like to help people. And yeah, bye.